we're going to talk a little bit about what we call in math the order of operations. But first, I put up here a problem. I'm going to show you two different possible answers, and I want you to try to think about which one you think is right. Um, 12 divided by 4, subtract 1. One way you could do this problem is to do 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 3 subtract 1. So I think one possible answer would be 2. Well, what if you did it a different way? What if instead of doing 12 divided by 4 and then subtract 1, what if you did the 4 subtract 1 bit first? Um, 4 subtract 1 is 3. So another way a person might approach this problem is 12 divided by 3, which is 4. Uh, what do you think of that? Like, does that make you nervous? It makes me nervous. It's supposed to be just like a way that we can all agree in math. It's supposed to be like a communication where if I write down this, it should mean the same thing to everybody. But here we have two pretty plausible um, ways of solving this problem when we get different answers. Four and two are totally different. So um, in order to get rid of this confusion, mathematicians created what we call the order of operations. It's a really big deal. Um, every, every person on the whole planet who does math correctly uses this order of operations. Um, we agreed on a certain order in which we're going to do the different types of, when we say operations, that means like adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Here's what the order of operations looks like. Many people um, have a little acronym or a way of remembering this letters, PEMDAS, what is that? Um, some people think of it as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I've heard a couple of things like that. What these are are all the different math operations put in an order so that we can all agree to do the same order. That's the order of operations. P stands for, for, for parentheses or groupings. So if I had any parentheses or groupings, I would do those first. E stands for exponents. And then MD is multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting, A and S. Now, before you do any problems, sometimes people forget this super important piece, and that is that when you multiply and divide or when you add and subtract, you do those operations moving from left to right. And that's a key idea, and that's a place where students sometimes make mistakes, is when you get to this multiplying and dividing, it's really a step within itself. You might do some dividings first. I'll say that again because it's weird. You might, and I didn't, I didn't mess that up. You might do some dividings first. You do whatever multiplying and dividings happen as you move from left to right. Same thing with adding subtractings. You might be doing subtractings before addings. Um, you would do that if you're moving from left to right. That's the key idea. So again, order of operations is the way we've agreed to solve or simplify expressions like this. We do groupings, parentheses first, exponents. Then moving from left to right, we do any dividings or multiplyings. Moving from left to right, we do any adding, subtractings. And the way people remember or memorize this is often the acronym PEMDAS or using the words, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> That should be less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right. So when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two um two fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>